Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Red Dog coming at you from the Nether Portal Temple in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival series. In the previous episode, we were working on the sweet ass centerpiece for the Cyberdog Monument. And in this episode, my friends, I have yet another sweet discovery to show you in the Nether. And I don't know if you guys can guess, but uh, let me tell you something it is freaking sweet. So sit back and relax, my cyber diggity dogs. Let's play some Minecraft survival. Now guys, since we were last together, I have been going back and forth into the freaking nether to get more quartz because this cyber dog monument is taking up a ridiculous amount of quartz. As you can see, I've been doing a lot of work since you guys were last with me. I completed making uh, most of the support pillars that hold up the roof of that monument. I've also lined the roof of the monument with, uh, with marble pillars and marble and chiseled marble blocks and uh, man it has been it has been a huge 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 use of uh, of quartz and quartz blocks to get this freaking cyberdog monument done and let me tell you something guys when this monument is finished i am never freaking harvesting another bit of quartz again and uh, i don't know what is going on around uh, rentopia at the moment but all of our animals seem to be like a bit sickly. I don't know what is going on, man. Ever since this butthole arrived um, in the mole hole, things have been, I don't know, things have been getting a little bit freaky around here. And uh, I'm not entirely sure what is freaking crack a around here, man. But it is kind of freaking me out. I mean, even old Big Mac over here is, uh, he's looking kind of sick. And not entirely sure what's wrong with him. And I've already had a word with old Griswold, you know. I mean, he's, I don't know what they feel. Ooh, hang on. Well, I don't know what's going on with Griswold either, but okay. Um, I'm I'm gonna just leave it. I'm gonna I'm gonna just leave in this way. I'm I'm gonna just go this way. <laughs> no idea what the jazz is going down around here, guys. But it is freaking me out. Anyway, guys, uh, I have discovered something freaking sweet in the Nether, and I'm sure most of you have, have been able to guess exactly what it is by now. But uh, I just want to come over to the Cyberdog Monument to show you guys the sweet ass stuff that I have done to the monument since you were last here. So I'm just going to drop off some of this jazz if I can, if there's any space in here left. There we go. So, guys, since you last saw the monument, I have added some more pillars. Uh, these are looking really sweet. I have fixed the roof also, and there is something inside that I want to show you guys and get your opinion of and that are that is these cross beams that you can see running along the the roof of the monument and the reason that I that I am experimenting with these cross beams is because we need to have a few sweet ass lights light fixtures in this monument man I'm talking freaking chandeliers that are gonna blow your freaking mind man I want to have some awesome awesome chandeliers dangling from the roof uh, and I realized that we don't really have anywhere to dangle shang chandeliers from so what I thought we could do is actually connect these giant ass pillars via uh, these awesome like uh, cross beam things that you see over here and then where they meet like the cross sections where they actually meet we, that's where we could hang our chandeliers from so uh, I want to get your opinion guys what do you think of these cross beams I think that they're really awesome we'll have another cross beam running all the way across like that to the the pillar at the back of the monument over there and basically all of these big pillars will connect to each other via these cross beams uh, and I think that's kind of rad man I'm I'm, I'm digging that um, I've also finished this little bit of uh, the glass roof and I got rid of all of that old glass over there and uh, all I need to do now is replace it with red glass. I also fixed up the, the, the top of the monument too. A lot of you guys were saying that it was looking way too square and I, I didn't actually like the way that it looked in the previous rendition and I kind of like this octagon design for the top much better than the previous one. So that's looking pretty sweet man. Things are looking awesome around the Cyber Dog Monument. The only problem is... I have run out of freaking quartz again. Um, I've just spent the last hour or so in the nether grinding freaking nether quartz. Um, and I've only managed to pick up a couple stacks of quartz. And yeah, <laughs> everything around the, the, the nether portal inside of the nether right now has been mined out. There is not one bit of freaking quartz left within a thousand clicks of that freaking portal, man. I've been going quartz crazy. Um, but in my attempt to find all of this quartz, I've actually had to go and, and venture a little bit further away from my usual paths. I even tried to strip mine the nether to see if that would actually give us a lot of quartz. 
Um, it doesn't, just FYI. Strip mining, <laughs> strip mining for quartz does not work. Uh, all, you, all you end up doing is just going through a ridiculous amount of iron pickaxes and you don't find, you don't find nearly as much quartz as if you just go exploring. So um, strip mining the nether doesn't work. <laughs> however, however guys, and this is what I'm so freaking excited to show you guys, I ran into a little something something that we've been looking for. And no, not another nether chicken. Even though that would be sweet to find another nether chicken. Um, I didn't find another ne nether chicken, but I did find another nether thing, which is awesome. And it's a thing that we kind of lost when we lost our old nether. And it's a thing that we still need to turn into a giant ass XP farm. You guys guessed it yet? Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. I was on the hunt for some quartz um, in this direction over here. I saw all of this sweet quartz over here, but there in the distance, I spotted a freaking nether fortress. Oh man, that is so awesome. And look how close it is to the portal. It is literally a stone throw away from the portal over there, guys, which means that we have direct access to a sweet ass fortress that is going to not only provide us with blaze rods, if there are blaze spawners in there, of course, but is also going to allow us to hopefully kill some wither skeletons, collect their skulls, and you know what happens with freaking skulls of wither skeletons, my friends? You turn them into beacons. Well, you don't turn them into beacons, but basically we will use the skulls of these skeletons that you get in these fortresses to summon the wither, which is a, a, a boss in Minecraft. And killing the wither gives us a wither star, and we can use that wither star to make a freaking beacon, which is going to be a beam of light shooting through the center of Granny Dog's monument. And we could possibly kill the wither twice. I, I, well, I mean, hang on. Okay, let, let's take it easy. I don't even know if I'm, if I'm going to be able to kill the wither once. Um, <laughs> but if we can, in fact, kill the wither, we will be able to make at least one beacon. And if we can kill him twice, we'll be able to make two beacons. And that means we'll have a beacon coming out of the Cyberdog Monument and a beacon coming out of Granny Dog's Monument. And that is freaking sweet. Now, I have no idea whether we're going to be able to kill uh, the wither in Season 3. But what I would like to do is start trying to get a whole bunch of those wither skulls uh, because I don't know how many, I think we need like three wither skulls to make, uh, to summon the wither. I'm not entirely sure what the recipe is. I know tons of you guys have uh, sent me the recipe for summoning a wither. So thanks to everybody who has. But to be honest with you, man, um, I can't remember it off the top of my head. And yes, I know I'm a noob. Uh, but that's not the point, people. We have found a freaking fortress in the nether and... And to top it all off, one of you cyber dogs told me that in fact you can find chests in fortresses now in 1.7, uh, which is epic news. I have no idea what is going to be in a nether fortress chest, but I want to find out, man. And there is our very first blaze spawner right up, right up in there, man. All up in our grill. Right, first thing that we find is a freaking blaze spawner. Uh, oh, and two blazers. All right, all right. Let's take it easy. We'll just uh, let's just back up. Let's just back up. Um, I, I, I like how armor is pretty hardcore. Our boots are almost broken though. So I, I don't really want to engage if I don't have to. I do want to engage with a freaking wither skeleton though. That, that's what I do want to engage with. Uh, so if you find one of those, man, it is battle time. Yeah, I'm going to take his butthole down to China freaking town. Uh, guys, do you know what I've just thought about? I've just realized that we have a looting two sword in the mole hole. We have a golden looting two sword in the mole hole. That means that if we do find a wither skeleton, if we kill him with that sword, we will possibly get more than one skull, right? Yep, that, that, that is what that means. So guys, you know what? I'm gonna head back to the mole hole, pick up our loot, loot two sword, and I'm gonna bring you guys back on the other side of this kaplam, and hopefully we'll be able to find ourselves a wither skeleton and slay his freaking withery bottle. I'll see you in one second, guys. Kaplam!
All right, cyber diggity dogs, welcome back to the storage rooms. And I do believe our sword is in here. Yes, there it is. Uh, no, no, here it is. Golden sword, loot, looting one, sharpness two. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was looting two, but it's only looting one. But that is totally fine, man. Uh, looting one is good enough for for our purposes. However, it is slightly busted up, so I think we'll probably need to repair this bad boy. Um, we'll probably have to use a few bits of gold to do this. So we'll we'll just use a little bit of this gold that we're saving for Granny Dog's monument. But right now, this gold is more important, man. We need to repair this freaking sword, and hopefully, we can get some wither skulls today, man. That's what I'm hoping. All right, 18 XP to repair this thing to and only three bits of gold so uh, that's a that's a bargain if you ask me man that, that's a good deal uh, all right guys let's get back to that sweet ass nether fortress and hopefully we can spawn a few freaking withers man or wither skeletons anyway and hopefully we can find a chest also i'll see you guys in a moment Comply. All right, guys, welcome back. We are just outside of this nether fortress, and man, I am so excited. I re Oh, man, I just want to kill a freaking wither skeleton with this sword. And you know what? We don't even have a name for the sword yet. The sword has kind of been rejected, man. He's like the, like the rejected brother. <laughs> He's like the brother that no one actually wants to talk to. Um, so maybe we should try to figure out a name for him. Um, I mean, the other, you know, our other sword is called Fang, so maybe we'll try and figure out a name, like... In, in the similar vein to that, I guess. Ooh, there is some tasty ass freaking uh, quartz. Don't mind if I do. I think while I'm here, if I see any quartz, I'm going to mine it. Um, but guys, if you have any sweet ideas for a name for this golden sword, man, hit me up in the comment section below. I think it is time that we, you know, welcome him with open arms to the cyber dog freaking armory. Um, he's been rejected up until now because basically we haven't really had a use for him. Um, you know, we haven't really needed to loot anything we don't we like we should probably be looting ender pearls and stuff like that but we don't really need them yet uh but now that we have found this fortress i think that we can actually start using this golden sword a little bit more oh uh, especially especially with regards to killing gas and wither skeletons although ow oh okay okay uh bam <laughs> Oh man, that was awesome. Um, you see now, I don't actually know whether torches stop blazes spawning. I actually don't think they do. Um, but we're gonna we're, we're gonna torch that bad boy up anyway. I've also brought us some sticks and a little bit of coal also that I picked up in the storage rooms. Make a few more torches, and we got another blaze rod, so that's good. That's of course uh, what we need for potion brewing and stuff. Whoa, there is another one, and you see the torches didn't actually do anything. What? 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 Why do these things shoot so freaking fast, man? Give me your rods, bros. Alright. <laughs> Let's not mess around with blazes too much. I really don't want to die, and I really don't want my armor to break. Um, that's for sure. We might have to take these boots off at some point. Um, but anyway, guys, keep your freaking eyeballs and earballs peeled and opened. We need wither skeletons. We need chests. That is that is what we're after, man. We're like, ooh. Where do, where do they hide chests and stuff? I mean, like, I don't... This is the first time that I've been in a 1.7 um nether fortress so i don't i have no idea like what else we might find around here um but this is looking kind of weird looking kind of creepy i think we should probably keep rambo close at hand though just in case the last time we came up against a wither skeleton was in our oh there's a chest oh okay okay all right all right calm down calm down all right dear lord it's been a while but uh would you mind hooking me and the Cyberdog Nation up with something freaking sweet in this chest? Ah, thank you. Kapaya. Oh, yeah. Some golden horse armor and three diamonds. Man, don't mind if I do. I will I will gladly take those. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> uh, that's, a pretty, that's some pretty good loot, man. Diamonds. Diamonds and chess. Awesome. Let's just uh, pick up this quartz as well while we're here. I mean, I think we pretty much just have to chill up in this fortress until a wither, a wither skeleton spawns, right? Like, I think that's pretty much the game plan here. Um, I mean, we are we are literally hunting, like, wither skeletons right now. H like, wither skeletons and chests. Like, that's what we're after. What does a wither skeleton even sound like? Like, I have no idea, man. Ooh, hello. There's a little, little cache of quartz over here. So we Now, guys, I've been thinking that maybe all of the weird stuff that's going on around Rentopia at the moment... Maybe it's got something to do with the fact that we've been spending, like, a ridiculous amount of time in the nether. I mean, 
like you guys haven't been with me, but I mean, I have been, I've been, uh, I've been down here collecting quartz, like like nobody's business, man. It, I've I've been going quartz crazy. Um, in fact, when I wake up in the morning, all I can see are these freaking kidneys, this redness of the nether. That's what I see. I just see kidneys. Um, it's been pretty cray cray, man. Pretty freaking cray cray. Have we been here already? I don't think so. Ooh, this is looking sweet. And there's a whole bunch of quartz over there. There's another blaze spawner up in this jazz. Oh, oh wait. Uh, we've been here already. <laughs> Dude, back off. Leave me alone, man. Whoa! Jeez, how fast are those projectiles? I'm pretty sure the last time we fought a, 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 a blaze, they didn't shoot that quickly. Jeez, what the jazz. Oh, you want, you want a battle? Oh, wait, I don't have any arrows. Wow, fail. <laughs> that is epic fails. Whoa. Whoa. Alright, tell you what, guys. We're just gonna, like, circumvent this this uh, this blaze and just jump across here. Now what, buddy? Freaking yellow butthole. Alright, anyway, guys. Let's uh, let's keep our freaking eyeballs peeled over here, man. We are looking for... Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close. Anything through there? No, dead end. Alright, with the skeletons, chests. That is the goal. And I'm not seeing either of them anywhere around here. Maybe what we should do is, like, put torches down. Just to indicate where we've been. Because, uh, you know, like, a, a nether fortress, everything looks exactly the same, right? Or, like, most of it does, anyway. And, um, yeah. I'm gonna put torches on the right-hand side. Right, is there anything up here? Worthy of, uh, of exploration. This is weird. It's like a... What? It's like a sea of gravel. Wow, that is a lot of blazes. Jeez, man. That is an insane amount of blazes, but I don't have an arrow for Rambo. I mean, we might just need to go to town right now, because that is a lot of... That is a lot of blaze rods. And I'm not really willing to... To turn my back on this many blaze rods, man. Alright, let's do this! It's battle time! Oh lord! Oh lord! Oh god! Oh god! One down! Two down! Two down! Three down! Ow! 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 Four down! Bam! That is the business I'm talking about. And why is there so much gravel here? I've only got like two blaze rods from that that battle. Jeez, man, my heart is pumping. That was intense. Oh my goodness, how massive is it? How massive is this fortress? Jeez, man, this is insane. Right, well, we're definitely gonna have to explore all of this. Definitely pick up all of the sweet-ass quartz while we're at it. Man, this is so fun. <laughs> oh man. Um, like, the last time we found one of these nether fortresses, we had to dig into the side of it. That was, that was pretty fun. Um, we almost died or so. It was actually quite intense. Jeez, man. How awesome is this place? But we didn't really get much out of that fortress. Well, actually, what we did was... I think we used uh, most of... Like, most of the nether portal temple was built from the blocks that we got from the first nether fortress. In fact, all of it was, right? Because at that stage, you couldn't make nether bricks out of... Um, out of this stuff. Nether rack. So yeah, we actually we farmed all of the all of these bricks from the very first nether fortress that we found. For those of you guys who haven't watched season two, I'm freaking angry with your bottles. But uh, for those of you guys who can't really remember, oh there he is, there he is. Oh my god, he is so freaking scary, man. Okay, this is it, guys. He's coming. He's coming. It's you and me with a skeleton. You and me to the death. Come, come at me, bro. Oh, you what? You, I got the high ground. I got the high ground. Come at me. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, so three hits with this golden sword takes him, takes him down to Chinatown. But all we got from that one was bone. We didn't get his skulls. So I don't even know if the sword is working properly. However, this looks like a pretty good place to spawn these wither skeletons, no? 
overlooking a giant ass ocean of lava. This looks like a pretty good uh, location for a uh, our blaze spawner. I was just thinking, uh, for those of you guys who watch my Feed the Beast series, I was just thinking we could use the portal gun and we could bring those blaze spawners over here and make like a really awesome blaze farm. But obviously, obviously we can't. There are no portal guns in Minecraft Survival. <laughs> um, oh no, wow, that was close. All right, I have to calm down a bit, guys, because if I don't, we're going to die. And the Cyber Dog Nation is going to face Palm. And, uh, oh, okay. All right. Deep breath, rain, diggity dog. Okay. <sighs> All calm. All right, so we back up to this, like, ocean of gravel over here. And, uh, man. Bum that we didn't get any skulls from that skeleton. Super stoked that we managed to take him out, though, without dying. Um, I think I think our armor set is probably OP, though, right? Like, <laughs> that, that Willis with a skeleton is probably, like, he's respawned. He's like, oh, man, that dude's got such involute. OP, bro, OP. Mojang, nerf diamond armor, bro. <laughs> oh. um, anyway yeah okay we've been here okay so we've pretty much explored this section or well, this this segment of this uh this fortress right how did we even get here that is the question i have no idea i think we came down didn't we i've never seen this much gravel in the nether it's kind of weird like where is this lava going Whoa, that is so awesome. Like, why is this happening? Like, surely this must mean there's a chest or something down here, right? Like, my instincts are just saying, there's got to be a chest down here. Like, if it's this difficult to, to access. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, what? Okay, that was, uh, that was pretty close to dying. I almost... Almost basically fell through that gravel pit into uh, a pool of lava and there's absolutely zero chance that I would have been able to get out of there. So that was close. A little bit too close for comfort, I think. Boots are almost dead. I should probably take these boots off, actually. Yeah, I'm going to take them off. Like, they give us fire protection, but I mean, I would rather take a little bit more damage than lose our boots, man. Slippers of the dog, bro. Like, <laughs> man... Fire protection fell. Like, those are some Imba boots. We are, we're not going to lose those. I do want to get rid of this lava, though. Because I want to explore around here, man. There's got to be something here. Like, what is this lava hiding? What shame are you hiding, lava? Oh, no. No, no, no. no not good, not good. All right. Lava contained. There's some stairs here. This is promising. More stairs. And we get a mushroom. Sweet. <laughs> All of that for a shroom. Oh, man. Mojang, you could have put some more... You could have put more chests in these freaking fortresses, couldn't you? I mean, honestly. 